Thank you uh, for being here, Mr. Feinberg. Really appreciate it. You've got your your work cut out for you here, I'm afraid. So uh, good luck. Uh, Thank you. And this committee hopefully be a resource. If you have issues and problems, uh, legislation you need to make your job a little easier, I think the chair. Anything that will make my job easier, I welcome <laughs> any and all resources. <laughs> um, the Deepwater uh, uh, Business uh, Impact Analysis indicated that uh, you know, possibly 7 million businesses, 6 million small businesses with 10 or fewer employees might be affected here by, by what's going on in the Gulf. Uh, do you have the, the resources to take care of those businesses? We certainly will have the resources necessary to process any and all business claims, individual claims, small business, large business. We will have those resources, yes. Uh, and how do you anticipate uh, calculating the, the lost profits or earning power and over what time frame, to your comment a moment ago, that there's not enough money in the world to uh, take care of all the likely claims coming in? What geography or do you anticipate taking claims from and uh, consider them legitimate and uh, uh, you know, up to what level of reimbursement can people expect? Again, you're raising the critical, the critical two questions. What constitutes an eligible claim? That who, who's eligible to even file? Congressman Buchanan pointed out the Boston restaurant can't file, but beachfront properties will file. So the first issue is going to be, under your question, the first issue is going to be, um, how will you determine what is an eligible claim for compensation? And there I'm inclined to begin with the same analysis I did in 9-11. Well, what does local law say about the eligibility of that claim? How attenuated can a claim be and still be subject to compensation? Proximate cause, as they say in the law. That's one question. Your other question you pose, Congressman, is well, even if a, a business is eligible, it's had a loss, how do you calculate the economic loss? Now there, there are um, time-honored methodologies from, let's say, the date of the spill began up until uh, a projected, uh, a projected um, oh, it will take you, we estimate, uh, two years to recover, three years to recover four years to recover um, so we which, will which of those years are you going to use well we don't I don't know and it may vary it may vary whether you're a motel a fisherman a shrimper a oyster harvester it may vary from profession to profession how long it would take fishing charters or uh, sight boats the real world would be that some of these will actually some of these claims frankly won't be for the total amount, the, the, the reimbursement won't be for the total amount of the loss. So some of these fishermen may be out of work for a decade. Well, uh, I'm worried about the floor of the ocean and, and it's going to be, you know, the shrimp are going to be in big trouble. I have fishermen in my coast. I I'm from Oregon and uh, my coastal fishermen are very concerned about our, our friends in the Gulf. Uh, we actually have researchers from Oregon State University checking the migratory patterns of uh, a lot of the species down there to see what sort of effects they're going to have on, on the Congressman Buchanan's area. So uh, we're very concerned, want to make sure there's adequate, adequate compensation that this industry continues to persist in the Gulf of let, Mexico. Let me respond. Here's what I think we will do, as with the 9-11 fund. Here's what I think we'll do this time. Oyster harvester. In your business, we think, once the oil stops so we know how, how pervasive it is, we think that your oyster harvesting will only be impacted for, and I'm just giving this as an example, two years. We will, uh, first you're getting emergency payments without any obligation just to get you by, and as the chairwoman su uh, has suggested, it won't be month to month, it'll be more a lump sum. Now, let's sit down, oyster harvester. We anticipate that for two years, another profession three years, another profession eight years, whatever it might be, we think based on our internal review, that you will suffer total loss over that period of X dollars. Here. Here is a check. Now, that check, not emergency payment, that's long-term lump sum payment, that check is in full satisfaction of your claim. You have two choices. Accept the check and release BP and everybody else from any future litigation 
This is a check designed to make you whole and to end your uncertainty about going forward. You don't have to take it. If you think that our analysis is faulty, if you think it's incorrect, we have shortchanged you, you think it's a trick, don't take it. You can leave the facility and go litigate or do whatever else you would otherwise do in an effort to be made whole. My goal is to minimize the number of people who won't take the check because that's the whole point of this fund. Thank you. Time is expired.